Did you know that the maximum amount of rows in your spreadsheet is 1 million? You can verify this by clicking on an empty cell and use the keyboard shortcut Control and down arrow. This brings us to the very last row and we can see it's at 1,048,576. And if you're curious, we can check how many columns there are by using the keyboard shortcut Control and right arrow. This brings us to the end, which is column XFD, but since it's in letter format, it doesn't really help me to know the max. So we can just use a simple formula equal column. This tells me the column position of where this cell is located. We see it's 16,384. If I copy and paste the formula to another cell, we can see that column XEX is at 16,378. Now, as you might have guessed by the video title, LibreOffice has an experimental feature that allows us to have 16 million rows. The way to unlock it is by going to Tools, Options. Under LibreOffice, choose Advanced and check the optional feature, Enable Experimental Features. Here, it warns us that it may be unstable. And the reason is because everybody's laptop or computer is a little bit different. That's why LibreOffice Calc by default gives us a million rows. For those who are needing more rows or like to live life on the wild side, we can go ahead and enable this feature. After clicking OK, it requires us to restart. Now that I've restarted LibreOffice Calc, we have to go back again to the setting. Now this time, go under LibreOffice Calc, choose Defaults, and now we're able to see this option, Enable Very Large Spreadsheets, 16 million rows, 16,384 columns, which is still the same column size as before. So after clicking OK, we don't see the changes applied just yet, but I'll make sure to save my spreadsheet, and I'll restart it. Now that I open back up my spreadsheet, I'll press Control down arrow to find the last row. And here we see we're at 16,777,216 rows. Wow, that's quite a lot. Now I head back up to the very beginning. So if you try this out, and you end up with some performance issues or something funny goes on with the spreadsheet, you can go back to the settings to disable the extra rows and turn off the experimental features and restart calc and you should be back to normal. So that's it for today's quick tip. Thank you for watching until the end. Happy spreadsheeting to you and as always, stay nifty.